This is Nightline, December 2nd, 2011. And flash in the pan. Some go half naked, some are geeky, but these flash mobs stand alone. Tonight, a secret network, a strict dress code, and a spectacular main course. What did the human race do when given a powerful new tool allowing us to communicate instantly with large, like-minded groups? We invented the flash mob. That's what we did. The ingenious excuse to act wacky in public we apparently all were waiting for. Of course, some mobs are more civilized than others, so here's John Berman with tonight's Sign of the Time. Oh, it's a flash mob! It's a flash mob! Oh. For better or for worse, this is the age of the flash mob. Song, dance, hijinks. From a lightsaber battle, the geekiest flash mob. To the Christmas cheeriest flash mob. This is 39th Avenue. To the raciest flash mob, pantless subway rides. But the undoubtedly classiest flash mob on earth has to be this. It even has a classy name, because everything French sounds classy. They call it Dinier en Blanc. Translation? Chelsea. Dinner in white. And it could be coming to a park near you. More than a thousand people show up at once to eat dinner outside wearing only white. Are you just embarrassed you showed up and everyone's wearing the same thing? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> We're kidding. The colors, the clothes are the whole point. Oh, On a picturesque New York night, this bleached band of brothers and sisters gathered in an instant to look, be, and eat fabulous. This is so elegant, and the setting is so beautiful. And to think that people care enough about coming together with complete strangers to make a meal out of it in this setting, this is really a great way to dine. So how do you get an invite? Ooh la la! I heard about it from my friend Merida. Uh, my friend Melinda. The friend sent it to us. For the most part, it's a who you know kind of thing. And as far as the what you know, bon appetit. they wait until the last minute to tell you. Una. They told us to meet at a certain subway stop at a certain time, wearing all white and carrying a table and chairs. Other than that, we had no idea what we were getting into. Needless to say, when it's in full motion, it is a vision. A strange, wondrous vision for those walking by not in the know. So I wish I was invited. <laughs> Look how gorgeous everyone is. <laughs> this was the first time anything like this has been tried in the U.S. It started 23 years ago in Paris. It was Amrique Pasquier's father. They started in the garden of uh, our house, and um, uh, by the time the garden just became too small, so we went in the public space. It was a way uh, to dress in white just to recognize each other. Even reporters covering the event need to obey the dress code. You wouldn't be accepted. You wouldn't be accepted tonight uh, because you have sports shoes. You need to have white shoes. I tried. You tried your best? I, well, I, I don't even want to get shoes like that. But there's little time to stew over the strict codes because after a few hours of pristine picnicking and preening, Dinier en Blanc disappears, gone as fast as it came. There are plans to take this national, but for now, it's just a distant memory in white. It beats the lightsabers. I'm John Berman for Nightline in New York. Dinner in white. Well, Monday on.